Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on my blog article, My Obsession with Mental Performance. And this is episode two. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to achieve mental performance and some of the tips I've learned and then some of the research that I've gathered from others to help achieve great mental performance in your career, in your business, and in any, any other endeavors that you wish to take on. I'm gonna first start off by saying, peak mental performance do things a little bit differently, but it might not be as different as you think or as unique as you think. And a couple of tips and tricks that they use, that uh, peak mental performers utilize on a regular basis is daily meditation, daily exercise, adequate sleep, and a healthy, well-balanced diet. So those are the main ones that I've gathered through my research, but also a few other areas which peak mental performers um, are very good at across the board is staying or getting into that, getting into a flow state um, where they can focus for longer periods of time. Um, oh yeah, control over control over their emotions, ability to relax under pressure, and self awareness. So those are some of the main areas where they they develop an edge. So thinking about when you're trying to stay on the top of your game, those are some areas to help achieve peak mental performance when you're in your and you know you're going about your day. You know how do you tackle when when problems arise? How do you tackle when um, you know you're you're trying to you know stay stay focused and you know and and or refocus. If something doesn't go as planned, those are just some, some tips that I've seen. And a few other points would be um, focused, focus, the area of focus, people's ability to focus is a huge one because we're in such a distracted world today. Our ability to focus, you know, quicker and faster as we can while eliminating a lot of the multitasking is definitely the largest challenge, but peak mental performers know how to focus on one thing at a time. And you can just go by the acronym fo uh, FOCUS. FOCUS means focus on one thing until completion. So those are some little tips and tricks um, to give you an idea of what peak mental performers do to stay on top of their game. And to give you an idea of what I do in my current routine, which I've been tweaking over the last few years, is basically um, daily, you know, there could be some days where it's not, you know, quite, quite exactly, you know, my, my routine. But what I usually do on a regular basis, on the morning commute to and from work, I listen to 10 minutes of an audio book. This could be related to my profession. This could be uh, related to psychology, social, some sort of social science, anything that's gonna help me interact with people or help me um, help me with problems, uh, you know, when, when problems arrive, how to have even more even keel emotions and how to stay cool under pressure. So I listen to audiobooks and uh, on the way to work, on, on the way after work, I always listen to podcasts. I'm a huge fan of Tim Ferriss. I listen to his podcasts almost daily. And then occasionally I'll listen to other other podcasts that are related to my profession. And um, yeah, and then after, so, so those are the first two things, beginning and after work, audiobook and podcasts. And then daily, usually first thing in the morning, five to 10 minutes of meditation. This helps keep my, um, keep, helps keep me in a uh, beta, beta state or sorry, in an alpha state where my, I'm non, I'm much less reactive. I still have, you know, the occasional days where I feel more reactive to, you know, the world and what's coming at me. But with the daily meditation, it helps me stay more cool, calm and collected. And then after that, it'd be daily um, exercise as much as I can. Most weeks I do three to four days a week, but 
Um, daily exercise can be in the form of anything from, you know, yoga, going to the gym, doing body weight training, um, you know, doing, doing, uh, doing uh, core training. It can, it can vary from anything, you know, going for a walk, a run, you know, the, the training can vary, but I try and get in some sort of form of exercise every day. And then I would have to say, you know, the next two things would be diet, having a healthy, well-balanced diet and, and as much sleep as I can get. During the week, um, I usually average seven to eight. Yeah, seven to eight hours of sleep a night. And then on the weekends, it could be much more. It could be like nine or 10 or, or more if I need it. So, hope you guys all enjoy this video. My blog article is already posted. If you like what you saw in this video or, or if you have any uh, feedback, put a comment in the description, or yeah, put a comment below my description in the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And hopefully you guys uh, all enjoy this video and uh, can't wait to see you guys all next time. All right.